Will you believe it if I tell you we all have grown to be us from just a single cell? Yes, that's right. One tiny cell makes us and similarly one tiny seed inside an apple can make an entire apple tree. Wait, how is that possible? This tiny brownish seed will grow to become a full-grown tree giving us many apples? Today, let's find out more about how a seed becomes a plant. And to do that, we first need to know what's inside a seed. Anatomy of a seed the fully developed seed has three parts. Number one, the embryo, which gives rise to a new plant. Number two, the endosperm that nourishes and provides food for the seedling. Number three, the seed coat, which is the hard outer covering that protects the embryo. I'm sure you've seen many seeds, but did you know that the double coconut or the coco de mer produces the largest seeds in the world? And the orchid flower has the smallest seeds in the world. Have you seen the seeds of a strawberry? It is the only fruit with its seeds on the outside. But apart from this exception, I'm sure you've seen seeds like mustard seeds, wheat, rice, corn, tomato seeds, mango seed and many more. So let's say this fully developed seed has been placed on fertile soil. Is it done? Will it soon become a tree? No, apart from the soil, it needs many other favourable conditions to grow. It needs the right temperature. Too hot or too cold can cause the seed to enter dormancy. This means the seed will just go to sleep and not sprout even if the conditions are just right. Number 2. Like any living thing, the seed needs oxygen and releases carbon dioxide until the leaves grow. The soil must be porous for water and air to penetrate and reach the seed. If the soil is not porous, carbon dioxide does not leave the seed and it will just suffocate. The seed also needs the right amount of moisture in the soil. Too much or too little water is not favourable for the seed to grow into a plant. Now, after we pamper the seed with everything it requires and give it the right environment to grow, it will start showing a few changes and a tiny progress towards growth. This process by which a seed transforms into a plant is called germination. Fun fact, animals eat fruits and they also eat the seeds. The seeds come out in their animal's poop and when the seed drops to the ground, they make new plants. So thank you animals for this natural plantation movement. Now let's see the process in detail. Germination. When a dry seed comes into contact with moist soil, the seed begins to take up water through the seed coat. But wait a second, how does it take up water from the soil? The seed coat has tiny holes or pores through which the water and air can enter. As it takes up more water, the seed expands and the seed coat cracks open. Once it bursts open, a primary root known as the radical emerges from the seed. As the root grows, it anchors the plant to the ground and begins absorbing water through the root. After the root absorbs water, the shoot emerges from the seed. So, we know that plants make their own food using their leaves through a process called photosynthesis. But what about this stage? Doesn't it require food? And if yes, it doesn't have any leaves, then how is it going to get its food? A seed that has not grown leaves manages to survive with the starch stored inside the cotyledons of the seed. The seed coat bursts and falls off to the ground, but the cotyledons continue providing food to the baby plant until the leaves emerge and produce their own food. As it grows further, the stem shoots above the ground and the first leaves appear after the cotyledons fall off. A few years later, or as time passes, the stem thickens and forms branches while the roots move deeper into the soil. The tree then enters the budding phase where flowers are formed. Pollinators like birds, butterflies, bees and some bugs carry pollen grains from one flower to another. Once the pollen grains enter another flower, the flower fertilizes and becomes a fruit. And inside the fruit, what is there? There's a seed. Thus, the life cycle of a plant continues all over again, from a seed to a plant. I'm sure you've sown some seed in your life. So in the comment section below, let us know which seed you have planted. That's all for today. If you found this informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Let's Shoot, where we feed your curious mind with such mind-blowing videos every week. Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.